viewers a warm welcome to all of you in today's episode of youth folio many developments have happened in the recent past which would be of much interest to viewers of the northeast we have encapsulated some for you in the episode we will start off with our first current issues section rajiv maharshi becomes india's new home secretary Delegation of Northeast People meet Delhi Chief Minister Shri Arvind Kejriwal. Manipur observes Patriot Hypo Jadonang's death anniversary and Hunger Marchers Day. Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts holds Northeast exhibition during Haryali Tej Festival. Mobile towers are not health hazards. says BSNL Northeast Chief General Manager Manipur tribal students protest against inner line permit Manipur's press gets new blue jackets Senior IAS officer Shri Rajiv Maharshi became India's new Home Secretary on the 31st of August after his predecessor to the August post Shri LC Goel sought voluntary retirement due to personal reasons. Shri Maharshi is a 1978 batch IAS officer of Rajasthan cadre who was previously secretary in Department of Economic Affairs. He is an alumnus of Delhi's famous St Stephen's College. and has a management degree from the united kingdom a delegation of representatives of the northeast living in national capital delhi met delhi chief minister shri arvind kejriwal on monday the 31st of august at delhi government secretariat building The delegation presented a naga jacket to the Delhi Chief Minister before handing over a memorandum of demands. The Northeast representatives have asked for setting up of a Northeast India Support Cell and Monitoring Committee in New Delhi to help the state government to solve various outstanding problems related to the 6 to 7 lakh Northeast populace living in Delhi. Chief Minister Kejriwal agreed to this demand. and has asked the delegation to suggest names of probable members of the proposed committee the northeast delegation has expressed happiness over this acceptance of their demand organizations from northeast india met the chief minister of delhi today and we apprise him of forming a monitoring cell uh, and a support center for northeast people and he immediately accepted so now he has told us to submit submit list of names and he said that he will form it and this is something a very very remarkable thing for us and we are very happy of course we also submitted a number of recommendations but first and foremost is to set up that uh, monitoring cell so once that monitoring cell is set up then we will be able to uh, implement the rest of the points or the rest of the important points that we have mentioned in the memorandum so i think we will be able to follow it up and uh, Uh, we are very very happy and we are really satisfied our main demand was to form a notice cell and monitoring committee we agreed to it so we asked us to suggest names so we'll be doing that and getting back to them in 2 3 days so once the committee is formed under which all the grievances the notice people have can be addressed other demands included fast tracking of court cases involving northeast people and fixing of house rents to which chief minister kejriwal expressed his helplessness saying that courts were not under his jurisdiction and neither could he coerce landlords to ask for stipulated rents the demand of including history of northeast in delhi school syllabus however met with partial success with the chief minister instructing senior party member miss atishi marlena who had accompanied him to do the needful from grade 1 to 5 we have syllabus that's made by the delhi scrt mm. from grade 5 from grade 6 onwards the syllabus followed in delhi schools is the syllabus but ncrt mm. so we can only influence the syllabus from grade 1 to 5 so we we'll speak to the scrt people and as soon as the next curriculum revision happens we we'll have this included the 
50th Hunger Marchers Day or Chaklam Khongchat was observed in Manipur on the 27th of August with people taking out a huge procession from Pishum Chinga Macha to Manipur College in Singjamai. The day commemorates the historic event when four persons, including three student activists, died in police firing during student agitations against artificial rice shortage. The martyrs were paid rich tributes. Rallies took the occasion to push their demands for implementation of inner line permit as well. Along with Hunger Marchers Day, Manipur also observed the 84th death anniversary of their great freedom fighter, Haipu Jadanang, who had fought the British. A statue of the great hero was unveiled by the Chief Minister Sri O. Ibobi Singh with Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam in tow. Haipu Jadanang belonged to the Rongmai community of the state and was a great patriot. Since he has uh, dedicated his life for all the Rongmais and for all the peoples in Manipur, we should uh, feel really proud of him and we should follow his path and we should try to strive and live to make this world a better place. The Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts or IGNCA took another big step to promote artisans of the Northeast by focusing on the region in an exhibition promoting Northeast crafts through its recently concluded Hariali Tej festival held in New Delhi. The festival's display of masks from Arunachal Pradesh were much liked by the visiting crowds. These masks form an important part of culture in Arunachal Pradesh. The famous Aji Lamu and other dancers see dancers wearing masks depicting both good and evil. The dances tell stories of victory of good over evil. In the absence of modern cinema and gizmos, culture entertains and educates people. Apart from masks, the Hariali Tej festival also included displays of handloom items from the Northeast, baskets, and other items which were educative about life in the region. Exhibitions like this or any events like this which are organized for the Northeast should be like encouraged so that the people here comes to know about the Northeast, about all the states in the Northeast uh, that it's more than insurgency and it has to, uh, it has a very rich and diverse culture there. So um, I think this is a very great idea to have exhibitions, any occasions which are related to the Northeast so that it gives us all an idea about how the Northeast India is like. We emphasized on the creative side of Northeast India. Now, always when it is like northeast the incessancy problem is always highlighted but it apart from that it has got a very rich and colorful uh, heritage both tangible intangible art and craft and all so we handpicked some objects from all the eight states like you know we have got some very beautiful head hunting shawls of the Naga tribes apart from that, them some ritualistic masks of Sikkim then some hand-woven beautiful artifacts of both male and female tribes of Assam and uh, Arunachal Pradesh. Then some fine basketry works from you know other states and clothes from Manipur. Then sculptures of Nagaland. All these things stuffs. Then also we have got some ritualistic objects from Assam, which is you know part of that hotro, the Vaishnavite uh, monasteries of Assam. <laughs> 